Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Now you guys liked when I paid local bakeries to bake a cake of my face. So today, I paid local bakeries to bake cakes of my dog, a blueberry muffin. They just came in, I haven't seen them yet, and either has my dog Blue. Blue's gonna help me. We're gonna check them out and evaluate them. They are cakes of dogs, but they're for people to eat. They are not for dogs to eat. So sorry, Blue, you can just evaluate them with me. And because you're being such a good girl, you can have a little biscuit. Before we start the video, I have some exciting news. You all loved the plushies, the blueberry, the coconut, and cookie plushies. These were super requested, so they are here by popular demand. We ordered a limited quantity, so if you want one, go to rosinapantsino.com. I'll put a link down below, and they're so cute. They're basically mini versions of the plushies that you have been enjoying. Now, I like these ones because they're like pillow size, and they're nice to cuddle with, and like, get cozy on the couch. We keep them on our couch, but these are the little mini sizes. And they have the little hearts on the bottom of the tummies, just like the big ones. Blue, what do you think? Blue's just trying to get these biscuits and I don't blame her. And if you were liking these videos, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up Click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Now, Blueberry, are you ready to see some cakes that look like you? Now, without further ado, let's check out the first cake. This is the picture that I sent to all the bakeries, so they all had the same reference photo, and I'm excited to see what they've made. And the only feedback that I gave was I was hoping it would be a 3D cake, but I just said, have fun with it. So I have no idea what I'm about to see. My sister and my team have been hiding them in the other room, so I am actually going to close my eyes right now. I am not looking. All right, guys, let's bring in that first cake. Blueberry, you can't look either. This is a surprise. Oh no, Blueberry, don't look. Blueberry, right, don't here look. Here's the first Blueberry muffin. Oh no, sit, sit, Blueberry, sit, stay. Oh my God! <laughs> this is adorable. Oh my gosh, what do you think, Blue? What does it smell like? Oh, oh, she gave it a kiss. What do you think of you? This cake is amazing. They even created her to be in the same position as the photo. Look at this little body. Oh, and they got the color just right. I'm super impressed. I always get impressed by 3D cakes and it looks really similar to her. They got the same seating position. They've got her dark gray color, which is called blue, which is how she got her name, Blueberry Muffin. I love that they got her tongue sticking out because Blue's tongue sticks out a lot. She's like, mm. So I feel like it really captures her personality. All right, team, how much was this cake? $370. $370? You guys, inflation is crazy, and for a 3D cake like this with a quick turnaround, for that price is actually really good. Things that I love, this cake is 3D. They've decorated even the cake plate. They've positioned her to be sitting like she was in the photo. The colors are pretty spot on. It's got the beautiful blue gray color and the cream coloring around her feet and chest and face, just like Blueberry Muffin, and the personal touch of having her tongue out. The fondant that they used to cover the cake is not dyed, it's airbrushed, and I think that they did a really good job. The only critiques that I have about this cake design are one, her eyes just are a little bit darker and they kind of get lost in the design. They don't have enough detail. And the cake board, I love that they took the time to decorate it, but I feel like it got rushed at the last minute because you can see a lot of even the green parts didn't fully get mixed and dyed. Like there's chunks of white here. So the buttercream wasn't fully mixed before they started spreading it onto the plate. And I can tell that they did a quick little cleanup here. You can see the streaks right here. And if they just did a second wipe, all that would have been really clean. But honestly, I don't wanna to be too hard on some of these little details because for this price, this is an amazing cake. Now it's time to cut into this cake, see what flavors are inside. I also didn't give any instruction on flavor. I let the bakery choose whatever they thought would fit her personality. I'm gonna cut this little leg. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Blue, I'm so sorry, Blue. Oh, that's a nice smooth cut. That wasn't hard at all. Oh, this always freaks me out. Same whenever I see those hyper-realistic cakes being cut. I always get so nervous right when they're doing it because it's just so eerie. I know, Blue, you can't have this. Oh, <gasps> We've got a chocolate cake, you guys. 
All right. Look at those beautiful layers. Ooh, there's a lot of buttercream on top. This is a very well-shaped 3D cake. All right, let's take a taste. Mmm. This is a chocolate cake with mocha buttercream, and the flavor combo is amazing. Let's see what's going on inside this cake. It's making a crispy noise, so it's either crispies or styrofoam. Oh, it's styrofoam. So let's see here if all, oh yeah, we've got some cute fondant ears. <laughs> oh, her cute little tongue. Oh yes, it's fondant. A lot of details, even the little line down the middle. I think that's really neat. All right, this whole thing is a styrofoam. So let's just remove this. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's really on there. It's okay. Like I'm holding her face. Well, here's her little styrofoam head and it's secure into the cake. I actually can't get it out. And then the cake is below. Let's see if the legs are ready. Oh, I'm feeling a dowel. There is a little structural support. Ooh, yes, perfect. Yes, we've got a wooden cake dowel right here. And her little feet right here are just made out of fondant. So the cake is really right at the base, her body. Now I wanna see what all these layers look like. I'm gonna do a big cut. This is the biggest slice of cake ever. <gasps> look at that. All right. There is a good amount of cake in here. Almost seven layers of cake. Mm. Overall, I'm very happy with this cake. I think for the price, you're getting a lot of cake, great flavors, great design, and in the future, I'm gonna be ordering from this bakery again. I loved it. All right, now this cake is gonna be hard to top, but let's bring out the next one. So Blueberry Muffin is sleeping. I've got my eyes closed. I am not cheating, I'm not peeking. I'm ready for this cake. I love cake reveals, they're so fun. I'm trying to be very careful. Blueberry's cheating, Blueberry's cheating. Blueberry, don't look. Okay, yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay, one, two. Oh my God! It's huge! This cake is humongous. It's so much taller than the other cake. And it's 3D! Look at this face! Look at the tongue! The tongue gets me every time. Let's see if Blue thinks this is a dog. You think that's your friend? Oh no, Blueberry, Blueberry, no, no. Now the first thing that I noticed, other than it being a beautiful 3D cake, is that it smells really good. Because instead of decorating with fondant, they've used icing, which is really impressive because it takes a lot of talent to decorate a cake with no fondant and icing. It's a different skill set. It looks like it's all piped. The presentation looks pretty clean. The cake board's clean, and even the design that the dog is sitting on. It looks like she's sitting on a little dog bed. Things that I love. We've got the Frenchy ears, we got Blueberry's tongue that always sticks out, and we've got this cute little sitting position that she's always in. How much did this weigh? How much did this cost? This is massive. It weighed basically a ton, and this yeah. one cost $550. <gasps> Whoa, Mike, that's like a wedding cake. Let me know in the comments down below, would you rather have this at your wedding or a regular wedding cake? The eyes are really pronounced. She has this little derpy look on her face, which is very blue. The detail that I really love that they added in the eye is this little white dot on each side. Just adds a little bit of dimension, little pop, a little brightness, a little sparkle in the eye. It's very thoughtful and it works really well. My only critiques for the cake is that this coloring is too brown. Could have been a little bit lighter, more cream color like blue. And I think this dog has three toes. And Blueberry, how many do you have? Come on. They have four, one, two, three, four. Four like little toes in the front. And then they have a dew claw on the side. So just like a human hand, there's five, but really from the front, you only see four. This dog is the first of its kind, it has three. My last critique for this amazing looking cake is that there's just a little bit of exposed styrofoam on the back of her leg and a little bit of cake showing right in there. It's a small detail, but we are here to judge and evaluate these cakes. Oh, and I just noticed they gave her a cute little tail, just like Blue's tail. I'm super excited. We're gonna cut into this cake, see what flavors are inside, and see what kind of structural support they got going on. Oh, what is, oh, this is not fondant. It's paper. The ears are made from a cake board, not with fondant. I'm gonna cut a slice in the back, just like we did before, because I'm pretty certain this is where the cake is. All right, here we go. Sorry, Blue. Oh, I feel some layers, some support. Ooh, what am I feeling? Oh gosh. Ooh, inside we've got a chocolate cake with French vanilla buttercream. 
Mmm, wow, that is a great chocolate cake recipe. The flavor of the cake is amazing. It's a close call, like this chocolate cake compared to the first chocolate cake. Very similar, but different. I think I might like this recipe just a little bit more. And now I'm curious to see how much cake is in here. I gotta know how this is put together. Okay, here we go. We've got a big cake plate right here for structural support. And I mean, that makes sense. So what I'm seeing here is a large two-tier cake. We got our first tier here and second tier here. And each one is one, two, three layers. And this one is one, two, three, four, five layers. There's no fondant on this entire cake. It's all cake and buttercream. Now let's cut into this head. Place your bets right now in the comments down below. I'm gonna give you a second. Do you think it's made out of Rice Krispie treats or styrofoam or cake? I'm leaning towards styrofoam. Now let's find out. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <gasps> it's styrofoam. Look at that. Styrofoam. Let's check if the front is also styrofoam. I saw some underneath. The chest of the cake and the two front legs are styrofoam, and so is the head. And for the legs, just like the other cake, the first cake, there's a dowel that goes all the way down for structural support, which is really important when you're making a cake this big. I feel like I'm one of those old barbers. Oh my gosh, the tongue was made out of buttercream. Isn't it crazy how different you can look after a shave? There's a huge mouth in there. You could put a tennis ball in there. You could! Blueberry. Do they have your ball? Okay, you can have your own ball. I had one more. There you go, there you go. All right, that's cake number two. Now it's time for cake number three. All right, cake number three is coming. No looking blueberry. Blueberry. Don't look, don't look. Okay, one, two, three. Oh! <laughs> All right, now this is a flat version of Blueberry Muffin. I love how pudgy it is. Michael, look at her. Whoa, this is heavy. Holy smokes, I bet this is all cake. Now this is our first cake that is a shaped 2D cake versus a true 3D cake. And I will say, it looks like Blueberry Muffin. The coloring on the top is really good. I feel like this is Blueberry Muffin's color. Even the pink in the ears of the little cute tongue, and even the little jowls here. It looks a little like winkly and squiggly. The cons of this cake is that we're missing color around the sides. I think it would have been cooler if they continued this dark airbrushing around the sides of the cake. They just kind of stopped and it just kind of got like mushed so it looks up really messy. And can we just talk about these eyes for a second? It's the only thing that's scaring me about her. I just realized that they are just black holes and it looks a little demonic. And the more that I'm looking at it, I'm getting a little scared. My last critique that I have for the cake is that the cake Cake board itself. It's a party design. It has a bunch of little squigglies and streamers and confetti, and it's not quite centered. I would have moved the dog over more towards the middle, because on this side you have much more room than you do on this side. So even for photos, it's not quite centered up, but it's a nice thick cake board that can hold the weight of this cake. And maybe the reason they used it is they needed their most durable cake plate, because this cake is heavy. All right, Mike, what's the damage? What did we pay for this? $618. No. No! This is more expensive than the last cake, and it's not even airbrushed on the sides. If I don't have an out-of-body experience when I'm eating this cake, I'm done. Oh <gasps> No! I just saw this. It's not even fully covered in between the two legs. Look at this. That's exposed cake. I think the only pro that I can give this cake is that blueberries colors are correct on the top, and it's probably all cake because it's not a 3D design, like there's no styrofoam or crispies. Now, without further ado, let's cut into this cake and see what flavors are inside. We gotta evaluate this cake. All right, let's see what we got going on. Oh, ooh, I'm excited. There's some different flavors. Ooh. What are the flavors? Quick. Pina colada. Oh, shut up. These flavors are good. I didn't want to like the inside of this cake, but it's delicious. I think it's a coconut cake and I'm getting pineapple and pina colada, which is my favorite tropical drink in the entire world. It's dense, it's got some moisture. In between the buttercream, I think this is some type of like pineapple. Oh my gosh, Mike. 
Is this saving the cake? The pina colada cake on the inside might outweigh the demon dog eyes on the out. I tip my hat to your recipe, it's delicious, but this design was, I think, the most disappointing for the price. Now, let's check if this whole thing is cake. I'm assuming it is because it's nice and flat, because for what we paid, this whole thing better be cake. This better feed a whole wedding party. Whoa, it is! Here's the ear! This is a pretty thick layer. Usually I do a little bit thinner, but I get it. All right, now let's cut through the whole thing just to make sure. Here we go. Wow, the layers are really pretty. The cake is delicious. Look at that. Honestly, this is some of the thickest fondant I have ever seen. Look at that. It's time for our next cake, our fourth and final cake. I really hope it's gonna be another 3D cake. My eyes are closed. I'm waiting for the final cake with my dog, Blueberry Muffin. Okay, don't look, don't cheat. Ooh, it's the last cake, last cake. I didn't think I liked surprises so much, but now I might be changing my mind about them. Okay, and go ahead. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So many things are going through my mind right now. Blueberry, are you seeing this? What do you think? Nope, she just wants her biscuit. Here you go, baby. Okay, it is one of the largest cakes that I've seen today, and it's 3D. <laughs> One, I love the size. I love a grand, massive cake. I think that they're really fun. And I love that it's 3D. I think that they got the colors of blueberry really well. Like these look like her blue colors. I think the cake artist even got Blue's eyebrows. She has really distinctive eyebrows. The toes, you can see in the front, there's one, two, three, four. There's no dew claw, but most places don't do the dew claw. I'm just impressed that there's four toes. And the way this dog is sitting is the exact same way Blueberry is sitting right now. It even has the little skin roll that naturally occurs when Blueberry is sitting. This is great attention to detail. I feel like the person making this cake really understands structure. And she's got her cute little tail. The only thing that's making me giggle is her face. I don't know what it is, but it just looks really derpy and smushy. I think the critique that I have that's a little off is that I think if they shaped areas like the neck, I think this would be the best cake that we've seen today. Because if you just gave a little shape here, it would look more exactly like Blueberry Muffin. She does have a really pretty neckline, even though she's a muscly dog. The cake is covered in fondant. It's airbrushed. I like the colors that they chose for airbrushing. I think they're very similar to Blueberry Muffins. And the lighter areas that are supposed be cream colored are just like her. The eyes have a lot of character. They have a lot of definition. They have little pupils. They might have used corn syrup or confection glaze to add a little glossiness to both the eyes and the tongue to look like a wet tongue. The nose is so cute. The ears have a little pink. Look at the little airbrushing. And there's even some texture of fur on like her legs and her chest right here, even on the face. Underneath right here on her tummy is the only place I see a little bit of patchwork. The size and weight of this cake is is probably the heaviest and biggest that I've seen today. Mike hit me, how much did this cost? $900. Michael, no! That's a vacation to Hawaii. I could have gone to Hawaii. I'm gonna say though for the laughs, might be worth it. Look at that face! <laughs> All right, let's see what a $900 cake tastes like. All right, here we go. Ooh, I see some chocolate. Look at that. That's a really dark chocolate cake. I mean, this looks like cookies and cream. All right, Mike, what's the flavor? Chocolate with salted caramel. Mmm, chocolate with salted caramel. Mmm. We have had three chocolate cakes today. They're all different. This one is the darkest chocolate cake that I've had today. And to get this, they use a dark cocoa powder versus a regular cocoa powder. Let's see how many layers we got going on here. I'm gonna cut on the side. Oh my gosh, is this all cake? It's too soft. So what we have here is many layers of cake, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up to here. But to get the little butt design, looks like ran out of cake. These cakes are going horizontal, and then on the butt, these cakes are going vertical. I don't think that's a bad thing, because I think you gotta do what you gotta do. But overall, this chocolate cake recipe was the best tasting today. It was delicious. Now without further ado, let's explore the rest of this cake. I wanna check out the structural support and see what the head is made out of. I'm gonna check out your little paw. Oh, I hear some crunchies. So this might be styrofoam in the paw like we've seen before. Yes, indeedy. We've got styrofoam. 
There's the dowel, you guys. <laughs> Shut up. Is this cake? No way. No way. <gasps> it's cake. It is the very first cake of the day where the whole cake is made out of cake. I am so impressed and now I understand the price. It also makes a lot of sense why the neck isn't really narrow because I think it's just cake on cake. This is impressive. All right, Mike wants to see the whole cake on the face. So Mike, this is for you. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Let's remove it. Oh. Look, it's half me, half her. Oh. It's all cake, baby. It's all cake, baby. All right, that does it for the video. A big thank you to Blueberry Muffin for hanging out with me all day, spending the day with me. All right, you want to go outside? Okay, go ahead. Okay, go have fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Blueberry. Okay, Blueberry didn't want to leave you guys. She's trying to get back in the chair. One, two, up, up. Here, you can come sit and hang out. That's fine. I'll pull up your chair. There you go. And just a reminder, if you want your own blueberry muffin, you can check out these on my website. I'll put a link down below. You can get the regular size plushy blue or the new minis, which are my new favorite. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun. I love supporting local bakeries and seeing their creativity. Also, let me know in the comments down below which cake was your favorite today. Was it cake number one, cake number two, cake number three, or cake number four. I loved all of them, but if I had to pick a favorite, I think it would be cake number four, the last cake that we tried because it was 3D, it was made of all cake, which is very impressive, and it really looked like my derpy little blueberry muffin. But honorable mention to cake number one, the first cake that we tried. It was a really well-sculpted cake. It looked so much like blue, and the recipe was yummy. I think my least favorite cake today was the pina colada cake. I never thought that I would be saying those words out loud, but I think it was just because it wasn't 3D like the other cakes that we saw today. And if you've been enjoying these types of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click appear or appear, appear or appear. Blueberry's asleep again. She's got a doggone good life. She just has treats and sleeps. Treats and sleeps. Treats and sleeps.